parents are concerned in Camden County about the future of three sports, swimming, gymnastics, and soccer. Currently, those athletes practice at a rec center in Kingsland. Well, the teams are not affiliated with the center, though. They operate independently, but the head of the rec center wants to change that and charge them to, to be there. Today, got a little heated when they all met. In the past, the PSA has been looked at as pretty corrupt within the community. To understand this story, let's take you back to last May. Four people were arrested, including the Public Service Authority's executive director at the time, William Brunson. State investigators say Brunson and three other leaders embezzled $1.7 million from PSA programs. That was taxpayer money because taxpayers fund the rec center. Brunson has since been replaced by Joey Kaysen, who is now taking questions from parents. You're saying I'm corrupt. The Public Service Authority, or PSA, controls the rec center. Because of that, some parents are worried and want to continue operating independently in terms of finances and leadership, and only want to use the rec center space to practice. It's concerning because what it shows is that, again, it's really not about the children. It really is about the money. The center's current executive director, Joey Kaysen, took over in March. He says the board directed him to review these three sports to make sure they are paying to use the facilities and for maintenance. I hope that the rec center, that Mr. Kaysen, he's able to realize that people just want answers that are the same across the board. Kaysen says the rec center is not getting rid of the sports and he met with the soccer board, the gymnastics team owner and the leaders of the swim teams to make negotiations. What, what do you hope to come out of all of these negotiations with these three sports? As far as I'm uh, concerned, Brittany, our anticipation is all three of these sports will continue and hopefully have an opportunity to excel. Both sides say they'll meet again in the future about all of this. In the meantime, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations is still looking into this embezzlement case to see if any more money was stolen over the years. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now, we've put all our Georgia news into one place for you to read. It's newsforgeorgia.com. There's also a Georgia section of the News for Jacks app.